Marcus Hassan is a phenomenal drummer. You know, he's just absolutely mind blowing. And of course, he's one of my favorite drummers out there. But what if I told you you could learn some of his very insane chops and, you know, groups? Like, I mean, his very insane ones. You might not believe me, but you have to believe me because that's what we're doing today. We're learning some of Marcus Hassan's very insane chops and grooves. And I'd love you to watch this video to the end if you really, really want to learn everything because I hide some secret and bonuses some places in the video. <laughs> So make sure you watch till the end. So the first chop we're learning from Marcus Hazan today is this absolutely insane chop. This is how it sounds like. Just in case you find any of these chops too difficult, um, trust me, you can just move to the next one. You definitely find one that is actually at your level of playing, at least two to three. Let's get right back into learning that chop. So basically it sounded like this. Yeah, now I'm playing it slower. So, what was it doing there? We have a six stroke crew, first of all. So, we have. You see that? That's it, but you need to understand that this chop starts on the four. So we have one, two, three. Let's do it together. Three. On to the second thing we're learning from Marcus Hazan today, which is an amazing groove. I love this groove a lot. He plays it a lot, and it's quite simple. It sounds something like this. So this groove is quite simple, you just take it gradually. Now, the first thing you need to learn is that stuff he was doing on this thumb. So you have... I have two ways to achieve that. I can either use double strokes, so I have right, right, left, left, right. So we have... Or we can just play singles. Right, left, right, left, right. So any one you use, it gives the same result. Or... So any of them you choose, I'll go with the doubles because I love doubles more. So let's do something. Let's learn the right hand pattern first of all without our left hand. So we have... You get. So now if we decide to add our left hand, we have... Sometimes you hear him do the third groove we're learning from Marcus Hazan today is this particular one. So what was he doing there? We have something like this. So I'll try and slow it down very well so you catch exactly what it was doing. It was doing. So you're just keeping constant singles on your right hand, on your hi-hat. But at some point, your right hand leaves to the snare drum to just get that rhythm. So we have. You get? Get this one first of all. So 
sometimes you hear him alternate the kick pattern, it sounds something like this. So just take this groove gradually, you know, speed it up gradually and you will understand what he was doing there. Let's move to the next thing. So the fourth thing we're learning from him is this amazing job, like really, really amazing. So um, this is how it sounds like. Down, this is exactly what he was doing. So have your metronome, start counting on the one. You get one, two, one, two, three, four. You get so that's what he did there. As huge as it looked, is this simple? But not very simple because you have to understand what he did there that seemed like he was leaving the timing and coming back. So here's it. So first of all, you have a five stroke rule, you get, so you have right, left, right, left, right, you get, so ascent on the first note, ascent on the last two notes. So as usual, I'll still leave all the stickings for you guys on the screen to see. So we have, you get, You get so he did that pattern two times. So you need to understand that place if not it's going to you know throw you off balance. So the last portion we have on the beginning. So the next thing we're learning from him in this video is a very nice groove. I so love this groove. This is how it sounds like. So what was he doing there? Quite very nice. He just had his right hand keeping a particular pattern. So if you can try and learn that first of all. So we have... Then the left hand... I'll slow that down. I have a bonus for you guys in this video. You must have seen this particular clip. So what he was doing there is quite simple. What if I told you it was just this simple thing? Well, he did it much faster than I did, so... So now one key thing you need to do here is observe what he's doing. Now we have this. You get, I, I made a video on this exact pattern. I'll leave the link to that video here. So go check it out after this video, of course. So he did something like this first of all. You get, then he did. So 
So don't make the mistake of trying to swing your right hand first. You would have lots of issues. So swing your right hand while going to the floor thumb, or while going back, use your left hand. You get. particular chop I just did here I strongly believe you love this video right here and 